One of the things that I love is reviewing small targeted branches between two to 400 lines rather than a 800 or a 1000 or greater line branch with a bunch of different features um, all bundled together. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate is a tool called a bizarre plugin called Pipeline, which Aaron Bentley created, which is wonderful for this kind of thing. So let's say I'm creating a new, there's a new feature I'm working on. I'm going to create um, the first branch, part one. I'll go into my um, lightweight checkout and I'll switch to that branch to start. Okay, ready to go. So um, first thing I'm going to do is make my changes. So I, oops, spend um, a few hours making some changes. And um, commit those. And I'll push it up to Launchpad. And we're ready to go. So once I've done that, I'm ready to start on my second branch, even though this first branch hasn't yet been um, reviewed. Actually, while we're here, let's just, um, I'll do that later. So what I'm going to do is create a new pipe. Um, now, if I look at the pipes that I've got, you'll see I've got part one and part two, and I'm currently working on part two. So I'm going to go ahead and make some further changes. Let's see. Made some further changes and commit those to. Sounds like there's a lunch. The alarm from my oven is going off right now. Yeah, it stopped. Um, and I'll push those up as well to Launchpad, and you'll see it automatically knows. Um, and it creates a separate branch on Launchpad for me. Great. Now let's say that um, actually the review for part one has come back and there's a change that I need to do. So what I'm going to do is say switch um, back to part one. And looking again, you'll see that it knows that I'm within this pipeline, but I'm currently working on part one. So I'm going to go in and make those changes that were requested as part of the review. Um, So I'll commit that. Changes for review. Beautiful. Now all I need to do is simply say bizarre pump and that'll automatically um, I'll switch to part two now. If I look, um, here we are. And if I look at the, the history, you'll see that it's automatically merged part one into part two. So um, sweet. Now, let's say that, for example, um, oh, I, yeah, I'm ready to submit part two for um, review. So I'm going to say um, LP submit. Um, I'm going to set myself as the reviewer just so I don't bombard other people um, with email. Now, the great thing is that um, Pipeline automatically knows that um, the prerequisite, ban it wants to create a diff between part one and part two, not against trunk. So it, it ensures that both branches are pushed up. Um, I'll say, uh, yeah, whatever review details are, explaining it all, and save it, and bang. It automatically opens it up for me in a window, and you can see here the merge proposal is created with, we're going to be merging into trunk, but the prerequisite branch, which has already been reviewed, is part one. The proposed branch is part two. Wonderful. Um, last but not least, let's say that um, in the meantime there's been some changes to trunk. Um, so I pull the trunk of my branch, that I'm, the project that I'm working on, and there's been a bunch of changes when I'm on revision 100. So I come back to my pipeline and you'll see I'm here, and I can simply say um, pump from submit and that'll automatically pump through the changes from um, trunk through part one and into part two. And that was quick. If I now look, um, you'll see it's merged part one into part two. If we say switch, I can also use this little helper to go back a branch. Um, pipes, you'll see that I'm on pipe one. 
and looking there, um, merge trunk into part one. And yeah, that's Bizarre Pipelines. There's a bunch of other things which you can find um, from the pipeline homepage. Um, there's yeah, more information there. Thanks for your time.